Hey guys, Conversations with Driven is back and we have brought a car that you guys have really, really asked for. It's an iconic car in Kenya and uh, the world at large. Actually, it's an iconic car in Africa. Which car are we talking about? We are talking about the legendary Peugeot 504 and all this is because Conversations is that channel that is going to guarantee you an alluring motor vehicle experience. I'll be your host uh, serving you these really special doors of Canvasitamo, Eric Kukabi, Eric with a CK. Uh, we can talk about this car or any other iconic cars on my social media platforms. So chat na mimi pale at a personal level, Eric Kukabi, Eric with a CK on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Also, we value your feedback and your suggestions as well. And your sentiments, Pia. So do talk to us uh, on our social media handles, Conversations on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And now let's get up close and candid with the legendary Peugeot 504. Now well, before I start this very special review of a legendary and iconic car, uh, there's something I want to tell you guys. Eh? So sometimes we premiere our videos like a day before and guys are like, you know what, we want to see it now, now, now. Guess what? You can actually get to watch these videos before everyone else. Yeah, and that can be made possible if you join uh, conversations as a member. Hapo tu kwa description, ama hapo chini kwa video, utaona icon imiandikuwa join. So do join the conversations community and you'll get the privilege of watching these videos before anyone else does. Now, let's get up close and candid with the Peugeot. Now, this is a car that has a very rich history and it's a car that has proven that the French can actually make solid cars. This car was at one time described as the horse of Africa by the Los Angeles Times and it's a car rich in history and Kamakawa Kamadawa we start the conversations review by giving you guys a story of the Peugeot 504. Let's indulge in the history of the 504. Now, the Peugeot 504 saw the light of day back in 1968, and it has broken a world record in one thing. Yeah? It is the longest serving single generation car because this car was in production for 38 years in a single generation. So there was no upgrade, there was no GE 504 20, 1990, no. It was a single generation car that served the world for 38 years. Now, over time we have seen renders of uh, people saying Peugeot is trying to bring back the 504, but I can tell you guys that that is not happening. Those are just renders by guys, by people around the world, but the 504 remains to be uh, a priceless piece of history that we might not see back on our roads. The 504 came in uh, several variants. Eh? Now, the, the 504 was available in a, a cabriolet, a saloon car, a, a wagon, and even a pickup. Yes, so uh, these are, if, if the 504 proved that you would get it in any form you wanted to. If you wanted it as a luxury car, you would get it uh, as a cabriolet, if you wanted it as a mature stylish car, you would get it as a saloon. If you wanted a practical uh, minivan, you would get it as the wagon. And if you wanted a commercial vehicle, you would get it as the pickup. So it was that one vehicle that could apply to all uses of a daily car user. And now talking about usage, this is a car that has been a, an all-round car. It is a car that was used by government. It's a car that was used by the police. It was a car that was used in motorsport. And it was a car still that was used by thugs. <laughs> yeah. So now let's let's get into now Kenyan history. And before I tell you about the Kenyan history of this car, you can, uh, this car was given to us by our good friend Manu from Sego Bay. So if you want to buy this car, or even take it for a test drive, end up on Facebook inbox Manu on uh, at Sego Bay Motors. Pia naskiako TikTok na Instagram as well. Now this car uh, in Kenya was in production up to 2004. Yeah, in Nigeria, it was in production up to 2006. This is the car that really brought out 
Kenya's potential to locally assemble vehicles because according to Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, there were about 27,000 Peugeot 504s that were locally assembled in Kenya that came in as completely uh, or complete knockdown kits. Now, there were others that came as complete vehicles. So, uh, there are so many 504s on Kenyan roads. Now, in Nigeria, this vehicle was also loved by many for being a hardcore car that would fit in all applications. Eh? And uh, now let's talk about motorsport. Uh, the 504 won in six WRC events, uh, two of which were in Kenya. Now, let's take a walk down memory lane, 1975, driven by two Swedish men. Uh, that one of them was Av... Uh, Av Anderson uh, and the navigator was uh, Ann Hads, uh, and they won. They won that the the, nine, the 1975 uh, Safari Rally Kenya in Apujo 504. Now fast forward 1978. Two Frenchmen. Uh, one of them was called uh, Jean Pierre Nicolas. That was the driver navigated by uh, Jean Claude. Yeah. So the two Frenchmen, unlike 1975, they won the Safari Rally Kenya in a uh, Peugeot 504 V6 Coupe. And now th th that one, the difference between the, the one in 1975 and the one in 1978 was, the one in 1975 was a four cylinder like this one, but the one in 1978 uh, was powered by a big 2.7 liter V6. So it's a car that was both practical, it was reliable, it would shine in motorsport. It, it was just that one all round iconic car. And the reason why this car started to shine in Africa was one because of its engine, drivetrain, and much more importantly, the suspension. The, uh, to many people, now let's talk about the style of this car. To many people, uh, the 504 might have been ugly, but back then this was the epitome of style. Because even in Kenya, uh, the Subaru boys of back then were using the 504. Uh, our, our parents, uh, ama mama zetu walikuwa uh, unajua these days we say tunawakunywa for the ladies, for the guys wanataka gari itawakunywa. Back then the 504 was that car and ilikuwa inawakunywa. Now, apart from being a status symbol, it was also used by the infamous special branch and the CID. Yani back then Hindi ilikuwa Subaru ya Mambaru. In fact, if there was a truck back then, maybe they would be saying Pujo ya Mambaru imekam na imeja. It was an iconic car used by the Flying Squad, uh, the infamous special branch and the CID, I guess. Uh, I don't know if they are one, but there are different branches. Uh, however, even the traffic police also used uh, the Peugeot 504. And even today, you can see a, a few Peugeot 504s on the road that is being used by the police. Now, the other people who used the 504s were the Matatu Gang. Matatu Gang, if you remember back then, if you're old enough and you remember were Percy. Yeah, we Percy, those shuttles, they were the shuttles of back then. They were so fast and uh, they were feared for being some of the fastest PSVs on the Kenyan roads that would uh, ply even the western routes from Nairobi. Now, apart from we Percy, if you happen to come from the central part of Kenya, there were other notorious 504 wagons that used to ferry people from Nairobi to Nyeri. And since we are reviewing a French car, Tafadali, Niruhusu ni tumia some French terms. Eh? Uh, the guys from Nyeri would say, if you board this car or the 504 wagon, you would either get to Nyeri or get to heaven. In fact, they were called Nyeri Kanamatwini. Sasa, for those of you who can relate to that language, I have translated. Now, apart from the PSV, it was also used as a matatu, again, but this time not the shuttle uh, orientation, kama ya the long distance shuttles we have these days. Now it was also, mna kumbuka zile matatu za face me. The 504 was also used on that. Actually, to be kasana kama face me. Some schools also had it as a school van. And now, the thugs also used the 504 Quite a lot, to the extent that when you were growing up, some of the stories we had of, a five, of the 504 was that it could not be parked in front of a bank. Yeah. So was that true? Kindly tell us in the comments, eh? would the 504 be parked in the bank? No, the thugs were using the same car that the police were also using. And now that tells you about the speed back then, because back then they were known for being very, very fast. Uh, today it might be a different story, but they are still quite fast as well. Eh? And now, uh, 
let me tell you something about thugs using cars. Thugs do not use cars that are not reliable. Ila sikuwezi wataanza kutumia BMW ama Mazda CX-5 ya diesel, tutajua hizo gari ziko sawa. Because even in the modern day outlook, remember, uh, thugs are widely using the Toyota Probox. Is the Toyota Probox reliable? Yes, it is very reliable and significantly fast. So this car was also used by thugs and that tells you about how reliable and how fast this car was. And the fact that, you see, thugs all over the world use reliable vehicles. Terrorists prefer Land Cruisers and Toyota Hilux. And now back then, the, 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 thug, the thugs who would rob banks would prefer the Peugeot 504 because it was, even if the police would follow, apparently bad guys are always good drivers. So this car was known to outsmart the police. Now what made it that reliable, that fast, and also that versatile? Let's talk about what powered up the Peugeot 504. If you're a keen uh, Peugeot purist, you would notice some of, the, some of the design cues in this car have been used on some modern day Peugeots. For instance, opening the bonnet is on the left side. The position of uh, this Chumaya Doshi is also designed almost uh, the same uh, compared to that of the Peugeot 208 and to other uh, model, mo modern day Peugeots. Now, uh, there was, before I talk about the engine, uh, because this is related to the engine, I want to talk about a few things. Number one, I've told you that this car was in production for 38 years without any refresh or anything. It was there and it never changed for, the, for those 38 years. Um, part of the reasons why it was reliable was because of their engines. I'm not going to talk about their diesel options because they were not there in Africa. If they were there, they were very, very few. Now, this car was used extensively in Nigeria, and, uh, Nigeria, Kenya, and South Africa. In fact, West Africans love this car for being very hardy. If you would, uh, there's a video that goes around online of a wrecked 504 still howling very heavy loads. Now, uh, in terms of engines, the 504 pickup came in a 1600cc four-cylinder engine. Uh, let me talk about the pickup, and it had a unique engine, the 1600cc. Now, the pickup was developed 10 years after the saloon made the debut to the public because uh, this car was in production from 1968, but the first Peugeot 504 pickup was uh, rolled out of the production line in 1979. And it had some very unique features that proved that that proved to the Germans that the French would also make very hardy cars and they were very innovative when it came to technology. Now, the pickup, 11 years down the line, it was based on the Peugeot wagon, the 504 wagon. And now, the, the deal breaker or what shocked the world was the design cue of the Peugeot 504 pickup because it was not a... Uh, it was not a, a, a body on frame kind of design setup. They produced a pickup that had a monocoque design uh, of the chassis, meaning it didn't actually have a chassis. So body in the Elikwa chassis. And you see that for a pickup, the other pickups that had had that design were smaller pickups like uh, the Datsun. Uh, it was the other, the Datsun, the Datsun 1200 had a, also a, a unibody kind of design. But now for, for a big pickup, that would hold a lot of loads, that was uh, one of, uh, was, a, was a very iconic design. And now the 404 also had the same design, but the 404 had one weakness. It would uh, twist the chassis between the, the cabin and the load bed duko nyuma. So it was in a car car, come to a memo gili wa maji hapa. But the 504, that problem was cured and it was cured and they did not even put a body on frame. It was still a monocoque chassis. So now I digress because of the engine option in the pickup, eh? because the pickup was only available in a 1600cc uh, four-cylinder engine. Now, what about these other cars? Now, th there were a few engines. There was uh, the 1700cc engine, four-cylinder, and Peugeot are weird because they are among the few manufacturers who had a 1700cc engine. Interesting. Yeah, the other engine was a two liter, a 2000cc engine like the one we have on this car. And we also had a 2.7 V6. Remember when I told you about motorsports, the, the, the one that won the Safari Rally Kenya in 1978, the one that was driven by Jean-Pierre, uh, Nicolas and uh, Jean-Claude, it was powered by a V6 
petrol engine. So now that is the V6 I'm talking about. So, but that one was not, no, it was not so much available in the Kenyan or African markets. Uh, so that one was mostly for European markets, but it did shine in uh, motorsport. And now, uh, let me also talk about the transmissions that came with the Peugeot 504. I told you Kulikwana engines are diesel, but we are not going to talk about them because they were not available in Africa. And if they were, they were very few. Now, the, the transmissions of the Peugeot, they came in a five-speed manual transmission, a four-speed manual transmission, or a very rare three-speed uh, automatic transmission. And where did the three-speed automatic transmission come from? It came from uh, ZF, and it was called a uh, ZF uh, 3HP uh, automatic gearbox. You know, ZF have made uh, transmissions for BMW, for Audi, uh, yeah, for Audi at, at some point. So they are, they, they, they have, they have been part and parcel of the automobile, especially the European cars. We cannot talk about European performance cars and not talk about ZF because they are a big deal. And they, even back then, they were a big deal, although they were making three-speed automatic transmissions. Anyway, that was back in the day. The other thing about Peugeot 504s is that they were all available in rear-wheel drive, and that is why the engines are longitudinally mounted. Now, where the transmission shifter or the lever was placed was also something that uh, demystified if you're a driver or rookie, because with a 504, you would either get the floor-mounted sh uh, shifter or the column mounted shifter. The column mounted shifter is what uh, roadside mechanics call half gear. Yeah, ile unaweka number one, number two, iko hapa kwa steering wheel. Eh? But uh, the most, the, like, I think pickups were the ones that mostly had the collar mounted gears, but uh, gear, gear shifters or gear levers. But the saloons, cabriolets, uh, wagons, most of them had the floor mounted ones. So, uh, you know, these days most people do not drive manuals. Let me tell you, it is one thing to drive a manual and it's another to drive a manual with a collar mounted gear lever. Now, let's talk about the side profile of this car and the suspension uh, because that's what makes it shine in Africa. Let's talk about why this car really shined in Africa in spite of... Okay, back then it was very simple in terms of design, very classic look. And now, one thing you have to notice from the side profile is the ground clearance. Now, I want you to note that this ground clearance is not uh, as a result of aftermarket springs or something or spacers. Now, these came stock with the car. So it had really ample ground clearance that would enable it to, trans to traverse even the rough roads because back then in Kenya roads were very bad. So it would traverse those bad roads but still give you a smooth ride. So why would it give you a smooth ride? Uh, right. When Peugeot were designing the 504, they made sure that uh, the suspension had ample room for maximum suspension travel. Now, what this meant was if you're on a rough road, uh, most of the impact or the shock from uneven terrain would be absorbed before it got to the cabin. And the suspension of the 504 was bulletproof. I want to walk down memory lane and remind you of one of the cars that has you know, still has broken the world record and up to date, I don't think there is any other car that has matched up its suspension standards. And that car was called the Citroen DS. Now the Citroen DS, uh, in fact, you would not clearly see the rear wheels. Now, Citroen and Peugeot are sister companies, yes. And uh, part of the technology that was used by Citroen, because Citroen had a strong point when it came to suspension and that is why even up to date no vehicle has broken the record of the Citroen DS when it comes to suspension uh, borrowed that part of that with the Peugeot 504 and that is why up to date and I'll tell you this for free most of these cars you're driving today the modern cars most of them cannot match up the suspension that is on the Peugeot 504 if you want to counter that Drive a 504 on a rough road. And uh, to prove that, I'm going to drive it with the boys on high speed at a rough road. And you will be able to see what is happening in the cabin because you're going to be using a GoPro. Now, the 504s came with trademark uh, chrome bumpers and a very long <laughs> exhaust tip. But uh, the other thing you have to admire about the Peugeot 504 is that, no, this car is very old. But apart from that, it still has a very unique engine pearl. As in, Saudi engine, but 
it's still up to date. It still sounds good. It still retains the Simba roar that uh, the Mufasa had even back to the back in the day. And that is what makes this car very nostalgic to drive because. Uh, our grandfathers maybe had some of them and uh, if you have not got a chance to interact with the Peugeot 504 you can call Manu from Sego Bay and he'll take you for a test drive on this particular Simba because trust me that drive is worth it. You need to sample the suspension and the classical design of the Peugeot 504. In terms of practicality it had a very deep boot but again uh, this one it was our dosi, the, the saloon version. Then uh, the most practical ones were the wagons and the pickup. As in all the Peugeot 504 brought to the table was anything you needed in our car, the Peugeot 504 would bring it out. If you needed a luxury car, the cabriolet would come in handy. If you wanted a normal mature vehicle, you had the saloon. If you wanted a commercial vehicle, you had the 504 pickup. And if you wanted a practical family vehicle or a PSV, the, the long wheelbase or rather the wagon 504 was, came in handy because I told you, today if you sit in the third row of a Voxy, your knees are, are going to hurt. Yeah, because you have to fold them. But with the Peugeot 504 wagon, the famous Wapesi, whether you're seated on the first row, the second row or the third row, you still had the same leg room. Yeah, so that is how good uh, car building technology was back then. And now I'm going to take this car for a drive with the boys and we are going to now test this car on a rough road and on a smooth road and see how it handles and how fast it accelerates. to conversations, team review. Yes, my friend. Hey, leo na sina power steering So lazima ni na. So before we start, there's something I want to show you guys. Yes. On my review, I told guys that uh, you remember the Citroen DS. Kala Yes, kame kanya kame inama. Kame It has it had suspension that even today, not many cars can match up to. And the 504, yes. you know Citroen and Pujo, they are sisters. Mm -hmm. The 504 also had very good suspension. Tatu kimbia kwa rough road. Muniambie kwa ya mtasikia. So we... This is extreme rough road. It's very comfortable. Extremely comfortable. <laughs> it's very comfortable. Extremely it comfortable. Is, I can't believe it. You know, the suspension on this one actually beats most modern cars. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Eh? Mugwa, tell us, what do you think about the Peugeot 504? I feel like more. <laughs> I think you, you was driven in this at some point. Yes. You not wrong. Yes. But now the luxury version. It's, it's quite, the way you were saying the leg room, it's... I don't know, I don't know how to explain the, the feeling of this this seat of, at the back seat. It's different, I've never felt something like this. It's a really amazing experience. You know, the generation... It's become a bench, you <laughs> the, the generation of Akinambugwa, yeah. they never found these cars. How ah, you How you is Magari? My friend. If anybody knows how uplands, this one, this one, which is five or four, they are the uplands police station. Air yeah, police? Air yeah, police. Ah, uh, but yeah, it was used by police and thugs as well. Ibrahim, me, me, the memory is so I, 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 I had you saying that mm -hmm. Baba ko alikuwa na igara alikuwa dipstick. Yeah, dipstick. Actually, my dad had several of these cars. Ah, so, <laughs> so we alikuwa dipstick. Me, <laughs> <laughs> and I in fact na kumuka one film that we could have Ken K. Uh -huh. See, you have this because I was, I was such a kid. Yeah. But I can tell you for a fact, Aruvia Igari, I can feel it, the, the nostalgia that I have for this car. Yeah. At Aruv Bado ni ile ile too. And you're going to be scared. Aruv Bado ni ile ile. And the comfort in this car. Bro, bro, bro. What one be I say, Ukweli? Igari, it's just. Igari, even it's, the seats. In fact, let me tell you. Even the seats. Unona is Igari, what one was I? They cannot match the comfort on a rough road and even on straight road. On this car. On this car. You're right. They have nothing ah, on this car. And then the growl. The, the 504 sound. Yo. 
This one is an interesting car. And, it's an interesting car. And for, for to 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 imagine that they achieved this kind of technology back in the day yes. still amazes me. Very, very much. Still me too. Still amazes me. Mm. Uh, this this is a fantastic combo. This is a fantastic car. Because imagine guys like Toyota have still not yet Japanese <laughs> and the Hawaja matchups as suspension A Gari. Even the Europe Bana at a at a VW has Bad. equal as comfortable as this car. Bad. This car, it's a car that you can speed on a rough road and not worry about anything. Build up, build up pressure, as you said, I think the roads back then has equal to so, yeah, so the French designed a car, they came up with a car that you can actually use for any purpose. Yes. Because back then, what was going to afford for by force? For by, exactly. Yeah, to, 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 Land cruisers yeah. for the worth for the filthy rich. Yes. So the holoi poloi mm. needed a car that that could uh, you know do both do both in one package. Because even the clearance, you know, the funny thing, he got high enough power steering, but that steering singum singum sana. You know, and I like where the horn is. The horn, the horn yeah. is here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Now, yes. You know, in in fact, uh, when I was getting this car from Manu, mm. everybody else up all kwa na angalia. He got here in a guru mishiwango. People don't know cars. They don't know how iconic this car was. Yes. And what it has to offer. And this car was also fast. For, back then, he got it kwa nambio. I remember there's this, this one. So you said about the cabreta. So we kuna in the corner cabreta. Kawaida. Kuna ikona cabreta mbili. Ikona hizo nini mbili? Hizo Weber King Cabs. Yes. Iyo kaza ni ulikuwa in a song. Iyo ulikuwa moto yebele. It was called the the GT. Or the GT. Yeah, it was called the GT. So now my uncle had one. K K J U. Now the 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 boy. Uh -huh. uh, my cousin. Yes. Alikuja kaiamusha several years later uh -huh. after my uncle had passed on. Yes. I tell you for a fact, iyo gari li run na umse. Yeah, iyo gari na ulikuwa na mbio. Kwa ulikuwa inaenda kistiko. And even today, mm -hmm. you see this particular car we are driving? Yes. Even today, my friends, mm -hmm. hii gari, kuna gari haziwezi yon. Ah, mi na juwa kuna gari haziyoni. Tuwachape fakite. Ah, yeah. hii gari kuna gari haziyoni. Ma my grandfather yes. was a 404 die. He had a 404 pickup. Mm. Yeah, nakwambia, you see 404 Tujo mm. walikuwa nafikiria mbali sana. Yes. They had pickups that had a monocoque design uh, kind of the, the chassis design. Mm -hmm. Now uh, with uh, with his yes. he loved 404s. Mm. Yake ilikuwa KLQ 809. Hey. Naikumbukanga. Hey. Alafu tena hapo kwa neighbor yetu, hey. kwa neighbor yetu alikuwa na moja wagon. Yes. Alikuwa anaitwa Mr. Dom Kanjas. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, you can see the name of the car. You know, it was, it was KUJ 970. Yeah, and that KUJ 970 yeah. was bought. Do you know John Kiriamiti? Yes. Ah, yeah. My friend. Yes, my Now I was telling day. you, if I know, the, if you know this car, yeah. you, you, if you've read John Kiriamiti. My you life in this? crime. Ah, my friend. Now, yeah. John Kiriamiti the comes he reversed, from... He reversed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was not that one. Now, John Kiriamiti bought this particular blue uh, Peugeot 504 way later after he has reformed. Actually, Adisa here Konayo, it's a blue KUJ 970. But to Moranga Wanonanga, you got it. It's driven by John Kiriamiti. It was owned by a man called Mr. Dom Kanjas. Mm. So these cars were, I love who Kisomaiso, it was a crime. This was a fast car. I love who got to be an Amatheki, he got to be a Pian Amambar. Now, where's he pack for bank? How my face? How my face, new man? Exactly. Yeah. Adi Kafika Mali, you can't pack it in front of no, a bank. No, you cannot. So back then, I can have a good one. You have a good one. Pujo Yamambar, you have a good one. Zero to hundred. But sasa atuna 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 haina shi how will you do it amen ah, okay let's we are not doing 0 to 100 but let's do an acceleration but we'll see an acceleration and just feel how manu ambia manu atengeneza speedo eh yeah. manu atengeneza speedo yeah. acha to clear i want you to see how now assuming me ni ni, me ni special branch yeah at, yeah to assume unajua ulikuwa unaongea juu ya Vision Cloud. Vision Cloud. Vision Cloud. Na juu tu ni vandeo. John Pierre. John Pierre. Eh eh. Na ule na vigeta likuwa. Vision Cloud. Alafu na vigeta likuwa yuwe Vision Cloud. Sasa huyo ongeza vandeo. 
Twende kazi. Sasa alafu hapo 1975 hali yao. But wacha tu assume juu hii ndio ilikuwa mbaya ilikuwa V6. But hii ni tu liter. So tuone acceleration test. Twende. It's pulling better than return. Where's you saw me? You saw my best notes. Thank you man. Three left. Right. But it is pulling better. So in 19 In 19 Angalia 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 mtu wa hali anataka kulimana na push. Tutapeleka phone. So my gari ilikuwa inatumika between 1975. No, it was in production since 1968. Ah. Yes. Nice. My friend 1965. This is very fast. It is very eh hey, Buddha. This is this, this, Alafu, this, this, is, this is G work on fast. In 1960 because imagine these yeah. engines were very fast back then. Na zile kwa zinatoa 91 horsepower. 91 and something. Kuna gari zingine paka sasa hapo zikuwa. Eh sahi sahi demi iko na 91 horsepower. Ndio hiyo sasa. So this car is pretty powerful. Now let's give it a team review. Mm. Ka- but before then Let's talk about unajua hii ni carburetor acha lazima ni zime. Eh hey. bei ya mafuta iko juu. Yeah. But come to think of it I've driven this car the whole day today. Yes. Haikunywi as badly as people purport. Mm. I think I think it comes down to tune. Unajua carburetor pakao. Carburetor lazima utune. So ukipata mtu mwenye haja tune yake mzuri definitely they'll complain about fuel economy. Yeah. But hii ni gari yenye nataka mtu mwenye anajua kutune. Na tune ya carburetor waambie haifanywi na na spark plugs. Yeah, spark plugs. Unasikiza hii. Unasikiza hii ndio alafu unachukua na casta yes. na ka sandpaper. Mhm. Eh. Sandpaper Ai, si aku kusugua hizo points. Eh, eh, ni points una tina points. Una tina points bwana. Eh. Una kasikiza dogo unasikiza engine. In fact, back then eh. is when we had real mechanics. Yes. Acha na wao electricians. Yeah. Eh. Unaweka wire. Acha na kawaya bwana. Hizi tuniki. Hizi tuniki kitu bwana. Yeah. So you for you to have a push of 5 or 4 tuned you have to get it from to get the tune from a a mechanic who knows this car a so, professional mechanic who yeah, understood yeah, what a carburetor is maskio they in fact back then mechanics tried to use they used the sense of touch, touch the sense of smell and and and, and, yeah, and even yeah, the yeah, sense of yeah, you know, yeah, sound sound <laughs> <laughs> Hata kwa ku shift gear hata kwa kuendesha gari haina rent counter hapo kwa rent counter unasikiza unasikiza hapa gari imefika inataka tatu unasikia kama umekaa na jamaa anakuambia sasa hapo inataka namba tatu e basi eh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> interesting stuff bro yeah, ah, me, 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 i'm happy bugu apiga team score team score for this car mm. and i was telling you guys these and these are sentimental sentimental car mm. it's 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 a collectors item yes. so if you are buying it remember Manu anapatia na gari na 200. 200k. In fact for the memories this car has. It's yeah. afikiria sisi tuongee na Manu tu atuzie gari. Atuzie gari yeah. tuifanye uh, na hindo tokao tuna kama na pre-purchase inspection. Ni 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 this will be like our car. Yes. Na AC nafanya by the way. AC nafanya. Yeah. AC is working. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> AC yake ilikuwa three simple movement buttons. Mbugu yeah. hata si buttons. Uh, okay, let's yeah. do it. Yes. 1968 between 1968 to 19 other to 2004. Mm. Rate this car. Give it the technology, everything. The technology, the history it has. Yes. The, uh, the comfortability of this car. <laughs> I think I'll give it a nine just because of the the fact, the fact that I don't know the carburetor stuff. You have my footer. We are not to watch that. So to watch that. We are not 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 to watch that. We So that is the point. It's a 10 over 10. I think this car was way ahead of its time. Yes. It was an iconic car. Hii hii ni gari yani. Mimi I'll give it a 10 over 10 mm. because remember this is a car that was used for luxury, yes. for official duty. It was used by government, it was used in motorsport, it was used as a matatu, it was it used as a pickup ah, right. and it never disappointed. Never. Ushaisikia complaints of 504? Hakuna. Hadi wao wase, hadi wa leo hakuna gari zimematch up wepesi. Hakuna. 
Because I think they were in, I don't know if you remember from Limuru to Kiambu. Yes. The wagon ones. Bus. The cab. The bus, those ones. Mahali wali yaunga to kidogo na likuwekia digital watch. Digital watch. Pana, and you're here analog. Oh, but that's how they took care of us. Buddha. They took care of us. They took care of me. Yeah. Sawa, tuna nyumbani. Tuna nyumbani bwana. 10 so 10 10 that's 20 20 that's 29 over 30. Yes, that's this is the only ca- this is the only car we're not going to do value for money. Exactly. Because it has this the value on this car you, you cannot said, even have a debate. These are collectors right? These are collectors. Sawa sawa. Wewe tuna nyumbani bwana. Tuna home. Tuna home.